Hank, I got a surprise for you today. Oh yeah, what's that? As far as I know, this is the first gasser we'll be working on. Gas engine? Yeah. Gas engines are easy, Wiley. Oh, Woo, get the fire the hole. All right, get in there, you stupid thing. Ah, come on. Gas engines, you gotta love them, Wally. How about you? I'm Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. I got Wiley with me today. What's up, buddy? Hey, how you doing? You drug me out here to this thing. Well, I don't even know what this is. I don't either. It is a go track, whatever that is. Let's take a look at it and let's see. Let's see what we can figure out. It's some kind of an auger or something, Wiley. But you said it was gas, huh? It is. And you said gas are easy. <laughs> it's going to be easy. All we got to do is put gas in it and start it. You can spray ether in a gas engine, can't you? Well, sure you can. You can spray ether in anything. <laughs> this is a big machine. I see that. What's that say? Tell, tell, tell All right, that's what the boom is. A Braden winch on it up top. Some faded uh, stickers there. Some data plates that you can't read anymore. It is a tracked machine, which is pretty awesome. We've, I don't know if we've ever done a tracked machine neither. Got some outriggers on the back. All right. It's almost like that Chevrolet auger truck we started. Yeah, I mean, we did good with that one. With the track version. Yeah, it, yeah. Cranked, it started easy too. This will be easy. I think it will be. Yeah. We got an easy button somewhere. All right, so here's battery box. Look, it's got clean terminals on it, so we're in good shape. See the transmission here. A Spicer transmission. Let's try to figure out like a model and all this for this. It's 1000. Number 1000, a limited edition. <laughs> Let me go look for some plates on the other side. This thing's been, I wonder how, how long has this been sitting, you think? Because I don't It's been started in years. That's been your started favorite in line. Years. First time in years. All right, let's see if it's got any things on this side that we can use to do some uh, investigating with. Trail ball seats. Oh, that's just that opens up the doghouse again. Now I call them doghouse. What do you call it? I'm going with doghouse too. Didn't you call it one, something else one time? Dog box. Dog box, maybe. Well, it's got a bad PTO. Oh. Cable stuck. Runs and drives. Uh oh. Listen, Fire ram. Fire must load. Ram when parked. So here's the thing there's a guy watching right now that can look at this engine right here. We know that it's a Ford. I can see the data plate there. There's a guy watching right now that can fix that thing with a blindfold on. Leave a comment below if you think this thing's going to crank or not. Let's get access to more of the engine. How about hitting the like button? Yeah, let's hit the like button. Hit the yeah. like button if you think it's going to crank. Yeah, I tell you, Hank, you, you look just like that's where you belong. <laughs> er, er. It's got a key in it, Wiley. That's a fancy doghouse. We got all the room in the world, Wiley. It is a Ford. It's a six-cylinder. Some type of cable. Maybe that was for a choke of some sort or throttle, this cable. The, the lever, the plunger is up top, but the cable goes to here. These things are called spark plug wires, and they go to a coil, and it comes out of a distributor. <laughs> I have no idea what well, I just said. It's got 1,690 hours on it. It's full of fuel. We'll probably try to start cranking it up, what do you think? Let's do it. I wonder if we can get by with just a crescent. Right? Well, it's a gasser. You said it would be easy. It's going to be. Let's get started on the fuel of the fluid levels, shall we? I do notice a bunch of uh, terminal connections for fuses and things like that. The fundamentals. Let's check the oil. These old gassers make oil too, don't they? <laughs> this thing's making oil. So we're good with the oil. Earl, for my southern friends. Let's look up here for the coolant. Oh, look at that. Isn't oh, that? it's got green in it. Yeah. All right, that's good. How many years do you think it's been sitting? Your best guess. Nine? Longer. Yeah. Been sitting a long time. Shall we call it 15 years? Hey, this is a comment I wanted to make though. This is kind of funny. You can say this thing's been sitting 20 years and it will still be in the 2000s. It don't seem like, you know what I mean? It's just, you think 20 years old is back in, is old old, like 40 years is old. Yeah. That's 1980, son. 1985. Remember that song? No. <sighs> Wally. I promise you they'll have some comments. Oh, that was so-and-so <laughs> that sung that. Boy George. <laughs> Why you say boy George? I'm a man. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, Wiley, I've got the uh, uh -oh. what why is this why is this hose blocked off you reckon? Because uh, they didn't use on the radiator reservoir, they just used the other one. You had an option. Oh, okay. Are we supposed to check the spark plugs? We probably should, huh? Well let's see if we can get it to fire first. Let's see what happens when we put batteries in it. See if it'll spin over. Alright, let's put a battery in it. 
Hey, let's check the, uh, we can't check the fuel. We have to check the gas. Yeah. Well, the fuel gauge said it was full. Not our fuel gauge, though. <laughs> Not the official Chevron. Hey, yeah. And also, we can just strike a match to it and see how good it is, <laughs> too, once you stick it. Yeah, we got to be careful. You, oh, I, that ain't nowhere near long enough. Look how long that filler pipe is. Well, that's gonna take a special kind. Yeah, that's gonna be. We might not have that kind available. We just have to, we'll just have to trust. Trust, the trust, the grasshopper. <laughs> that filler pipe is, I mean, it's three feet long. So what you're saying is the, the filler pipe will hold about twenty dollars worth at today's <laughs> gas prices. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, right? Let's swap these batteries out. All right, Wally, the terminals are coming on. Well, I say that. You know, we got a uh, fly strip. <laughs> they work on gases, won't they? I think so. Ugh. Those things are heavy, man. There Look go. in there, Hank. There's a little critter in there. Uh oh, here I was just digging my hand on in it. Was it a frog? I must have threw them out when I did the leaves. Good out. job. That spreads those battery cable terminals if it needs to fit onto the thing. Let me get the cleaner. That looks like something your dentist would use on you. <laughs> I can't believe you brought me out to a gasser, Wiley. Last time I had gas is when me and you went to that Mexican place down there at the... <laughs> Sometimes you can't trust a gasser. <laughs> Sometimes you can't trust a gasser. Uh, I'm not so sure this battery will fit in that box. Oh, just barely. Oh, just barely. My gosh, you sure want to close, Hank. Hey? <laughs> Listen. I had a friend tell me the other day that you, he said, you make people uncomfortable violating their personal space. And I was like, you know, that's a really good way to ruin this bath that we were in, you know? <laughs> you crack yourself up. I did crack myself up, dude. Hey, it fit, Wiley. All right. Yeah. Oh, Wiley. You all right, Wiley. I don't care what the commenters say about you. That's a joke. Now that we're getting into it a little more, you guys are going to want to stick around to see if the battery even has enough juice to get this thing turned over or not yeah hey what is that the uh that thing off the breather yeah. vacuum line there a gasser won't run without a vacuum will it i don't know i have no idea you're the gas mechanic you don't want to say it was easy <laughs> well i was hoping you wouldn't believe me i don't <laughs> should we take that off and look to see sure well it takes tools to take this breather off hey? yeah i know all right can we just try it without taking the breather off you don't think you'll have problems with the carburetor? Well, I'm sure we will. <laughs> okay. We've got a little bit of build up on some leaves around this manifold. It ain't gonna catch on fire, is it? Well, I mean, it could. It makes good viewership. <laughs> Boy, Although I did forget the leaf blower, I did bring the fire extinguisher. It's almost set it right there. I've just about got this off of the manifold here. It's so. a little more volatile than a uh, diesel in it. So they say. I found a starter. Oh yeah, yeah. Covered in that, buried these under leaves. these uh, years of leaves building yeah. up on it. I'm trying to get these off here too. We won't run it long, but you know what? I got to thinking about Wiley. Uh oh. I mean, this stuff obvi obviously. I mean, what kind of conditions did they run this thing in? To, I mean, would it have leaves falling in? It? Well, oh well, it would be covered. The doghouse would be covered. Never mind. I don't think it'd have rats. <laughs> Oh Lord, we'll keep that up there just in case. Let's see if it if this thing cranks up like that. Um, oh, the uh, fertilized spreader. Yeah, that thing fired right up, didn't okay. it? Okay, yeah, I'll put the I'll put that video right here of that three wheel spreader. I mean, that thing didn't even hiccup. All right, Wiley, you ready? Here we go. That battery don't sound good at all, does it? Hmm. What about its brother over here? Yeah. So what is, I mean, what do you think about it? Well, I don't know much about it, eh? Yeah. Well, we know one thing. It ain't got no motor in it. Ain't got no motor. Wouldn't your English teacher be <laughs> happy? Yeah. Or grammar teacher? But I guess, I mean, I guess the cab just, just came off of it. Yeah. Can you tell by looking at the transmission if this was gas or diesel? Or you can probably look at the fuel, the fuel, the cap, fuel cap. Or did they all come in gas? I don't even know what kind of machine this is. Wiley, it's from Sumter Utilities, Sumter, South Carolina. You ever been there? I've been to Sumter, South Carolina yeah. before. 
I spent a lot of time at Shaw Air Force Base doing different classes and hey, stuff. Hey, has it got a number on it? That somebody from Sumter Utilities might have actually run this thing at one time. Yeah. I don't see a... How many of you guys are watching from Sumter, South Carolina or in that area and know where these machines were made or know, uh, heck, what they're called? Or maybe even run this particular well, machine? Well, this is an auger truck is what they are. It might, not a truck, it's all it on tracks. On yeah. The, well, that's what I'm saying. Is, is, do, does it make it? Does the configuration of it being a tracked vehicle make it make a difference? I mean, I guess they I use don't these think in gonna, swamps or something. Yeah, you're not going to drive a, a truck through them swamps yeah. that they tackle these with. Yeah. So it's got uh, the auger bit. It's got all the controls here. Man, this thing, these things have been. Hey. Yes, sir. Here's the moment of truth. Oh yeah. Ooh. <laughs> like varnish. <laughs> yeah. And clean some you gonna clean some furniture off of that stuff? Yeah. Is this pedal right here, does that like control some hydraulic flow or something? What's the purpose of the pedal? Huh. These wire these hydraulic hoses have seen their better day. Hold on, Wiley, I'll come over there with you. Alright, Wiley, fire it up. No, don't fire it up in case it's gas. <laughs> oh. That's for you. That looks like kerosene. That's thick. Man, that's thick, ain't it? Yeah. As thick as bugs on the Tell bumper. us how old it is when you smell it. Let's see here. 17 years, three months, two weeks, six days. Hey, what's that data plate right there? It's a Commander 4200 PG winch. Oh. Options are hydrostat, hydraulic. Something, 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 something. Oh, here we go. August 18th. Oh, I don't have a year. August of 18. No. No. 1918. Yeah. The weight of the vehicle is 20,700 pounds. Probably fully loaded, I would assume. Uh, hydraulic pressure is 2,400 pounds. PSI. Yeah, I don't know. what That was like kerosene or something, wasn't it? Yeah. That's interesting what you kind of discover when you're looking at this kind of stuff. It is. All right. It's been charging for a couple minutes here. Let's see what we got going on here. Sounds better, but we're just not getting no fire. Wiley, I think what I'm gonna do is take these plugs out, look at them, clean them up, put them back in. Yeah. I think I've seen that on YouTube one time. Yeah. On gas engines. Oh. All right, I got a spark plug socket somewhere. While Wiley's looking for a socket to fit these things, I'm going to go ahead and give it a little bit of help here with the, the old liquid wrench test right all here. I don't have anything. No look. To fit it. All right. Guess what I can't do, Wiley? This stupid, this stupid thing won't fit in there. Ah, come on. Gas engines, you gotta love them, Wally. Wally, listen. Gassers are easy, huh? Gassers are easy. Listen, you can't. You, we don't have a socket to fit the uh, spark plugs. The crescent wrench won't fit down in there. I don't know. And you got leak of wrench all over the whatever that thing is. A coil. Coil. Yeah. All right. Do you even know which plug come off which? No, not really. I think I think that's come back to number two there. Okay. All right. Yeah, let's just, are you, you can set you ready? That. Yeah, I'm, I, th I think we're ready. All right, here we go, ready? Let me see what this switch does over here. That could be the L choke. Yeah. Can you flip, can you, Butterfly that or whatever they call it with it. All right, ready? Yeah. Easy, huh? Easy. Oh, let me put this vacuum line and back on this breather. Not that that would, I mean, it might matter. I don't know. Uh-oh, uh-oh! <laughs> I 
เลิกเล่าวู้ ready buddy ready fire and hole fire and hole Things are gonna fire up. Maybe some flame gonna shoot out of here and a, squinge all my hair. Yeah, here's what you need to. This I think this is the one you need to. That's the gas, ain't it? Yeah, I think that's what you need to do. Well, you ain't push your gas pedal. Uh, it won't. I done tried. Uh, uh, well, why ain't it moving? I don't know because I need some liquid wrench. Okay, I got you now. Come on. All right, ready? Yeah. Oh look, that, I think it's gonna go, Wiley. I do too. Okay. That's got to be unchoke. Yeah. I think you need okay. To. All right, ready? Yeah. I, I bet think, you it's out of gas. You think so? I, I bet you after 20 years of sitting, the gas has okay. evaporated. All right, so the, the fuel... The fuel gauge technically has less than a quarter tank on it when we turn the gauge on. Okay. What about um, you want to take this cover off like we like I told you to to begin <laughs> with, <laughs> and we can look in the carburetor. Yes, let's do that. You wanna you wanna uh, try to take this breather off? Let's go eat first. Oh, all right. <laughs> I'm always down to eat. I'm Work, always, working yeah. on this gas. You got me home. All right, let's do that. We are back. Right, Wiley? Yeah, I'm uh. I'm gonna try. Uh, try what? <laughs> Spit it out, longer, there, Kimasabi. A longer fuel gauge. Okay, hold on a sec. I think you got it, buddy. Look at that, Hank. I think that's gonna fit. See what nature does. It provides, don't it? It provides. Poor frog. <laughs> what happened to the frog? I wonder. That didn't make it. I think it goes down there in the elbows. It does. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna have to try my other end. I was looking to see if there was a way we could circumvent that. I don't really know you, what that word means, you but you <laughs> use such big words. Mm -hmm. It's got a long way to go, Wiley, because it turns into a, a rubber hose. At the... Well, listen, all I want to do is break the stick in there. Did you hear that? <laughs> Here's the fuel tank, dude. I heard it. I heard it. Yeah, you're right about 20. You're right about it. it. Probably had 20 gallons. I mean, yeah. $20 worth of fuel in the filler neck. Well, I mean, seriously, look. This is fuel tank is right here, and the hose goes all the way up here. So what you're saying? There's not a long enough. <laughs> I don't think so. None that you can push down in there without right. breaking. Well, I'll go get some gas. All right, do that. No, you're getting the fuel was leaking down there. I didn't want to get on your britches there. Oh, okay. Well, thank you, Hank. Listen, I'm always thinking about you, Wiley. Hey, uh. Yes, we sir. might have to go get a hose and siphon this back out <laughs> when we're through with this project. Little do you, little do we know that that's thirty-five dollars to see if this thing's going to crank. And or little not. do the viewers know I got stuck with paying for it. And lunch. Yeah, well, that's the lunch. Don't surprise me. Because <laughs> you always forget in your card. Oh, uh, hey, listen, I forgot my wallet. Okay, I just hope I don't get stopped on the way home. I ain't got my driver's license with me. All right. Yuck. I got some. But I tell you what, I'd rather smell gas than a head diesel. Really? Yeah. Are you serious? No, I'm Wiley, but. <laughs> All right. Wiley says he's got the touch. Mm hmm. <laughs> All right. Ignition check. <laughs> How much gas did it have in it? A little less than quarter of a tank, I remember. It's still a little less. <laughs> All right. Give me more, give me more. I might have to hook my truck back up to it. Huh. Let's take that, let's take that breather off, dude. So while he's working on that side, I'm actually going to use these Michael Pro Tools screwdrivers. I didn't have a set of screwdrivers in my truck, so I got these. These things have been pretty cool. Well, I'm screwing right down to the cob. Yeah, right off the... Into the cob. Yeah. 
get into the car for all my Boston friends. <laughs> Where's my car keys? Final side, there we go. All right. Let's put some, let's get the gas in the, uh, the bottle. If I could put gas in a bottle. <laughs> I'm surprised that we're not having people unsubscribe by the boatload over here. <laughs> whoa, whoa, Hank, you get, Listen. My gosh, when that, that, that thing's gonna flame and burn the whole thing. Oh, we got the fire extinguisher. Get the, get the we, invisible fryer off my friend. <laughs> pull. All right, here we go. I think you're supposed to put it in. Huh? I think you're supposed to put it in like a bowl or something. I mean, the bowl of the carburetor or something. Or is that what I'm doing? Let me see it. I don't think you're putting enough in there. Oh, I thought you said I put too much in there. <laughs> All right, here we Let's go. see. Well. Huh. Huh. All right, let's try it again. We've made some uh, some modifications to the charging system. There it goes. It's gonna fire a while. I just tore my pants. Did you really? <laughs> they make your true work pants, is it? No. All right. Let me, let me do that while it, I got it. You just you want to put gas in it? Too late to be scared now, boy. <laughs> oh Lord, gas engines. There it goes. Let's check see if it's pumping fuel. Or the fuel pump is working. I don't know. Yeah, I sure don't like all that gas on that engine. That I think that's going. I think that's working better though with the gas instead of the ether. What you want me to do? You want to hold that up? See. Go on ahead with your bass out. Get some ether. What's that? Ether. smoke is coming out of that vacuum line on top of, uh, of the breathe, uh, valve. I don't think we're getting no fuel. I don't think we're getting no fuel neither, dude. That's why I'm saying, can we can we put an uh, electronic fuel pump in there? I wonder if you got an electric fuel pump that's just not letting it. That's what I'm saying. What you saying? <laughs> that's exactly what I'm saying. Let's do that. You always say the right things, Hank. Huh? Yeah. This thing's got a sunroof in it. <laughs> yeah. Or it did. Oh, it does. There you go. That's for that ventilation. Yeah. Let's put a little gas in it. See how long it'll run. And have a little ether. See what happens. Golly. Ain't been hitting on nothing now. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Hmm. 
I feel like we're getting closer. I think we got it flooded. So when something floods, you just got to let it sit. I hate gas. I hate them. I hate them. <laughs> gas engines are easy, Wiley. Gasers. Yeah, there's not no fuel. Not no fuel. Not no fuel. <laughs> there's not no fuel coming in there. Hmm. Let's, let me put something in here. Is that the only place it gets? I wonder if you got it. Oh, put fuel in there? Yeah. All right, let me show you the contraption we got set up here. Got the makeshift fuel can. Got a battery. And now we're going to see if we can get the fuel up to this point right here. Is your pump any good? Should be. The fuel line is in the in the fuel itself. It's got a kink in it somewhere? No. Hold on, let me take it off this fuel pump. See the, let me see if the fuel pump is working. Well, our fuel pump wasn't pumping out. Are, are we going in the right direction? Oh. You're so smart, Wiley. We were going in the wrong direction. Technique only. There's a fuel flow indicator arrow indicator <laughs> Wiley I might be some dumb but I ain't plumb dumb what y'all didn't see off camera was me telling Wiley dude we gotta check make sure that the flow of this thing is proper <laughs> <laughs> Wiley it's my <laughs> I'm glad I have my camera running <laughs> Oh, but I forgot you do the editing. Too. That's right. All right. right. This is going to work this time. All right, here we go. All right. It's getting fuel now. Golly! <laughs> PTSD! <laughs> oh, Woo, get the fire! No, well, it'd be all right. I think. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you smell that hair? It smells like Come a put hog burning. Don't, don't pat it. Put it on it and keep it on it. Ain't you ever used a fire blanket before? I have, but not a paper towel for one. Well, we're getting some fire. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right. Wow. That was nuts, dude. I don't know, Wiley. What do you think? Ready? I ain't got no, the fuel pump's not hooked up. Huh? I took the fuel pump off. Oh, my gosh. Don't be scared now, Hank. Listen. It's just gas. That's all it is. I was allowed back fire with me. We gained more of those rags. That was a good idea. Actually, the rag caught on fire. I need like a t-shirt or something. Hold on a second. Man, Wiley. That's weird. I don't know, brother. Oh, you're going to see if it's coming out of that line yeah it is let's get some more fire going there boy yeah Let that cool off a minute I wonder what that does. floats are stuck ain't that what they say about carbs oh look at that fuel line running over it <laughs> it's nice nice knowing y'all fellas God, let me put on my, my <laughs> flame resistant flame <laughs> retarded car heart <laughs> oh. oh, look at you backing up. Dude, I'm backing up, I'm dog. stuck right here. I don't know, buddy. 
I don't know nothing about carburetors, for real. Oh, they're easy, Hank. <laughs> if you keep that open, maybe, I don't know. I think that's where the float is. Uncle. <laughs> All right. Gassers is easy. Yeah. <laughs> so Wiley wants to keep trying, right? But I, once I saw the fire on the carburetor, I was like, look, dude, this is just, I don't know. So let me tell you, I'm going to get real serious with you guys just for a second. Uh, no, no joking, uh, all serious. So back in 1996, my dad was pumping gas and dripped some on it and a pilot light from a refrigerator uh, ignited the, the the fumes on the gas and it and it consumed him in fire right so that's how my dad passed away in 1996 and you know i always tell the jokes about you know my dad told me to yeah. that that's just joking right but all serious so i've had a i've had a tremendous amount of fear and respect for gasoline and fire uh ever since 1996 when my dad passed away it's a horrible story and it, it happened in an instant and so when i saw that you know i was just i told wiley i said let's just knock it off dude we may come back to it you know we can do some research on how to rebuild a, it's got a carter carburetor in it by the way they quit making those in 1985 you know maybe we'll research on how to you know do that because i'd like to see it drive it's yeah. a, it's well, a we unique might can machine pull it off too when we yeah we might be able to pull it off yeah. uh since it since it is a standard transmission so we have some options and stuff but uh anyway after i saw that not to keep rambling on i just i was like man look, i'm, I'm kind of i'm good <laughs> you know what i mean yeah so but anyway hey listen we appreciate you guys watching Le like if you want us to try to come back and, and work on it some more or leave a comment below we'd appreciate that turn on your notification bell that would be cool because then you'll get notified when we're putting out new videos and and wiley don't ever bring me back to another gasser again you know <laughs> these things are hard man okay these things are hard so you guys take care god bless you guys